Okay, motor shaft replacement. Right. So you take the four screws out and you lift this outer cover off. And you have the drive shaft here. So this should just pull out. Sometimes it's hard at first to get out. You pry that up. And there's your uh, shaft that goes in to the motor itself. You have a uh, plate there. You have a three-way gear. You have the three-prong plate. And you have another plate that has gear here, gear here. And then you have this that sometimes this will pop out. You have to make sure that this is actually facing the right way. It should be pointing down. The cone shape should be pointing down in there. And in the center here you have a gear that actually will run the limit switch in the motor. Uh, that runs the limit switch. This up here is from the motor. So that goes around here. And then this actually needs to be correctly fitted in there in order for it to actually run the limit switch. So we'll put this back together. Cone facing down into there. Make sure that lines up with that and that. Make sure that one, sometimes it rocks a little bit. Okay. Next we'll put our Required gear in. We have our three way gear. Sometimes this, you have to make sure that this aligns with the inside gear and the outside gear so it fits correctly. And we'll put our outside plate on. Walk my hands off a little bit and then we'll make sure we have this all the way down in and then this aligns with the three-way gear that we put in there and sometimes it, yep, and it snaps in like that and then we just have the outside cover put on so everything fell down the way it should with no gap and then this would go on and then you just screw the four screws back on and that's how you replace a LVM shaft.